You talked about um, consistency, and that's what you were striving for. Can yes, you sir. Talk about that now that you head into the fall. Oh uh, man, it feel good. You know, working out a lot in the summer. Fall counts here now. You know, we're working every day, taking it day by day. You know, doing the right things and ready to see where we're gonna go with it. We, uh, you said the previous staff they were on you every day because they saw your potential. Mm -hmm. They were harder on you than anybody, maybe. Uh, yes, sir. How's the new staff coaching? Same going? way, same way. Coach Hill getting on me today to <clears throat> finish running to the ball, five yard sprint out to each play. Coach Kane getting on me working on my technique, staying low when I'm just doing getting off blocks and releases. Maybe out production in the past, right? So, like, do you feel like, yeah, this is kind of where I'm gonna make my name, gonna make my mark, this is my shot? Yes, yeah, so I'm just, you know, I ain't looking into the future, just taking it day by day. Like I said earlier, uh, just want to graduate as a champion, that BK, you know. Has that helped? Has him, has him coming on board, and everybody's brought with, kind of stabilized things for all the players? Y'all feel like, all right, I see a path now, I see how I can kind of get to where I want to be? Yes, yeah, sir, definitely, you know. Um, just, just being consistent, the whole team, you know, working on what we need to work on, fixing the small things, and just being consistent is most important. Take me through your process. I guess what did you work yeah, on to get to where you were? Was it physical? Was it losing weight? Was it converting? Uh, you know, I would say it was mostly mental. You know, we did a lot of physical. I mean, sorry, we did a lot of mental performance training in the summertime, and just going with it with the right attitude. You know, and also physical, getting in shape, being able to dominate every rep. Yes, sir. That room that you guys are working in, uh, it's kind of take me through the thought process of those guys. Because you, you all have this really high ceiling. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, you see it and you challenge each other each day. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, we, you know, we young right now. Well, got a lot of newcomers, but consistency wise, uh, you know, everybody just working. The starters, me and Mason working together, Ali, BJ, Tank, and uh, Makai Wingo, just getting each other better, helping the youngers. Jamal, he's real good. Yeah, real I mean, good. A fresh perspective, I guess. Kind of obviously, big time program at Oklahoma, but California dude kind of brings a different flavor. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, he real chill with it, but he'll still get on you when time needed. What about the overall team? You know, there's a lot of talk. It seems like the expectations aren't high nationally for LSU and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Do you hear this stuff? Do you motivated by it? How do you think the team approaches? We definitely motivated, but. Like I said, BK just say take it day by day, and we're just working, not looking ahead, just getting better at the smaller things. Well, what's your opinion of him today as opposed to like maybe in December or January when you were first getting to know him? Uh, you know, I had a lot of conversations with him, get to know him better. He's a real good coach, real intelligent, you know, stay on us, just to be, work hard. So it's like funnier and more relatable than like, like, <laughs> like you seem like, like really kind of standoffish when I've dealt with him in the past, right? But, like, now that he's here, it, it seems like a lot more relatable. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know, he like to do his little thing on TikTok now. So, just letting him be. What is this thing I'm afraid to ask? Oh, uh, just making videos. Trying to, I don't know, impress the uh, recruits and things, I guess. Him and his daughter doing all the dancing. Mm-hmm, yes, sir. How about the conditioning of the team? With Jake Flynn over the summer, what you guys did, you feel like? We put a lot of hard work in. Like, we ready. Tomorrow, day three, <clears throat> we're going to be outside, shoulder pads, helmet. It's going to be high climates, and you know it's the right turnaround. The early morning practice, so we should see. What are you, what are you seeing out of some of these offensive linemen? Emory, Will, the, the freshman? They look real good. You know, everybody been getting in rotation, uh, working on technique, and just getting better. Yeah, that's going to be my question. Just yeah. the idea that you're getting a lot of different dudes. It's not the same five. Mm. Yes. And I was on practice, too. Like, just the idea that, yeah, there's a lot of different guys coming at you on that offense. I got to imagine it kind of helps sharpen the game. So. Yeah, it does. You know, each player got their own thing, their own way how they attack blocks and, I mean, yeah, attack blockers. Uh, I don't know. Usually I just go against CT, Charles Turner at center, because I'm playing nose this year. And the two guards would be the uh, Trey Munn short of uh, Miles Frazier. Well, you and Jacoby came in at the same time as I know you say this is going to be a big year for you, but it's, what about Jacoby? He lost 20 pounds. He looking real good. Real, real good. What about him in the rotation? And yeah, he uh, second string right now. Yes, sir. He getting some runs uh, with the ones, too. So, this is all rotating. Mason as good as we all think he can be? For sure. Yeah. For sure. What a coincidence. 
Yeah, he getting better. Yes, sir. Yeah, he could be real good in the future for sure. What about Savion? Same thing. I feel like our D line is gonna be the best in the country for sure. With Quincy, it's just kind of learning how to play football. He learn to how to play. Football. Yeah, learn the technique. You know, just slowing the game, slowing the game down for him. Once he do that, you know, a very bright future. Is it different without O here? I mean, he's like so in on the defensive line all the time. Is it, was that? Did that take some getting used to? It? Uh, no, not really, because, you know, I done had three different D-line coaches since I've been here. So, they all feel the same way. Just come in and work every day. What's the, big, what's the biggest difference in the strength conditioning program with front versus on offense? Like, was there something y'all are doing a, little, a lot more of, or that maybe you take some adjustment or this really benefited you? <coughs> is there something that you're, you're, you're really taking to? Nutrition for me. All the workouts have been the same. Like, I love lifting, but nutrition, just putting the right things in my body, being able to be hydrated for practice. That make me practice and pay to go through. Do you feel like that's more of just a team commitment to it, or is it? Are they doing it differently? Definitely a team commitment. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Let me get that mic on.